Our teams are actually under strength, but anyhow, the boys did very well in the first game. Um, they did very well, and I think they scored 99. Um, I'm not really sure about the score, but they did very, very well. And they won the first match. Um, they will be playing their second match today. The girls, unfortunately, lost their first one. Uh, it was a very um, convincing uh, win from the other team. And our girls will just manage to score just over 20 points. The tournament is aimed at achieving three target areas for the participating nations. This was also emphasized by Mr. Lapan. Um, they have three, um, three among a couple of objectives. One is um, it gives them the opportunity to actually um, be the champions of Oceania. Uh, second, it, is, um, it gives them the opportunity to qualify for two positions allocated to Oceania in each of the under-16 Women and Men's Asia Championship in 2023. And also it serves as a qualifier for third and fourth ranked female Oceania teams to compete in the under-16 Women's Asia Division B. The boys are now preparing for their clash after defeating opponents Northern Mariana. Lapan further elaborated that the team coach for the boys mentioned that the boys squad performances so far seems promising as opposed to the girls. But one thing that the coach has told both teams is for them to play, have fun and learn from their experience as much as they can. Meanwhile, after the FIBA Oceania Championships, PNG Basketball Federation will prepare to host the 2023 Oceania Under-17 Championships. This will see some of the players currently competing in Guam qualify for this upcoming tournament. Lisa Puni, Chukai Sports.